obviously Trump is very confident that the voter voters will put him over the top. But as a backup, he's also been moving ahead with plan B, destroying the US post office so that Democrats can't vote by mail. But over the weekend, attacks on the post office became so brazen that the people started fighting back. The escalating showdown over the post office and mail-in voting. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has cut short the August recess, called the House back into emergency session to confront the Postmaster General over cutbacks in service, which could disrupt the delivery of mail-in ballots and effectively deny some people the right to vote. This morning, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is taking the dramatic step of calling every member of the House back to Washington for a rare Saturday session this weekend to address the crisis in the U.S. Postal Service and growing questions about the November election. After reports surfaced in recent weeks of postal workers removing those iconic blue mail collection boxes from street corners in multiple states, the agency now says it will halt further removals for 90 days, citing, quote, recent customer concerns. U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy Joy's home was the target of protesters over the weekend who accused him of undermining the service in order to suppress the votes. Banging pots and pans before 9 o'clock Saturday, protesters marched to the front steps of what they say is Postmaster General Louis DeJoy's D.C. condo. Man, you gotta admit, there's few things that suck more than being neighbors with a Trump appointee. Because you know, at some point, People are gonna be protesting the shit out of your building. Not to mention Russian politicians always showing up at the wrong apartments. I'm here for secret, but totally legal meeting. Ah, you want apartment 7D, not 7G. Oh, my bad, my bad. But now that you have seen face, I offer you drink that is not poison. But, But for real though, can anyone tell me why they're removing mailboxes? Like if they don't actually need them, then why don't they repurpose them, you know? Uh, Turn them into a trash can or a flower pot or a new apartment for Oscar the Grouch. I mean, maybe he'd be a little less grouchy if his house was filled with postcards instead of bags of dog shit. Now, Trump is claiming that the reason he's going after mail-in votes is that it has too much fraud. But no one has ever been able to find evidence of that claim. So yesterday, Trump's chief of staff said this. Do you realize how inaccurate the voter rules are with just people just moving around, not let alone the people that die off, but sending ballots out just just based on a voter roll registration? Anytime you move, you'll change your driver's license, right. but, but you don't call up and say, hey, no by the way, I'm re There's no voter fraud, though. Uh, that's, but there's no that's not, evidence that, of widespread there's, voter there's fraud. No, there's, no, there's no evidence that there's not either. That's the definition of fraud, Jake. Wow. So there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud, but there's also no evidence that there isn't widespread voter fraud. I mean, once you go into that argument, there's nothing you can't claim anymore. I mean, sure, I haven't seen any evidence that aliens are cloning humans and making them compete in talent competitions in space, but I also haven't seen any evidence that aliens aren't cloning humans and making them compete in talent competitions in space. So clone Trevor, if you're watching this, you give them hell in that dance off, buddy. And listen, people have all sorts of theories about why Trump is attacking the post office. One of those is that he wants to slow mail down so that ballots don't arrive in time to be counted. But another theory is that he just wants Democrats to think that the mail is gonna slow down so that they don't trust the mail and they don't send their ballots at all. Which is why over the weekend, the king of the Democrats, Barack Obama, came out with a different message. If you're in a state where you have the option to vote early, you need to do that now. Because the more votes are in early, the less likely you're gonna see a last minute crunch, both at polling places and in those states where mail-in ballots are permitted. As much as possible, we wanna relieve that pressure. America really is an upside down place. The black president is telling everyone to vote early and the white president is trying to make sure everyone's late. And Obama's right. Waiting until the last minute never works out. Like that one year I waited until July to get my beach body, but then all the beach bodies were sold out. So in the face of all kinds of voting obstacles, that is President Obama's advice, which he reiterated on Twitter. Vote early if you can, and then tell everyone you know to do the same thing, which I guess I'm doing right now. I mean, you guys are basically everyone I know. But just in case, I'm gonna try to tell more people. 
Hey everyone, don't forget to vote as soon as you can. How about you set the f up as soon as you can? Okay, thank you, sir. Before we go, there are a lot of groups out there right now who are working hard to protect and advance voting rights for the elections in November. Now, one of them is the Alliance for Youth Organizing, which is a national network of local youth-led organizations mobilizing people to vote. If you can help them and you would like to join in their cause, then please visit the link below and donate whatever you can. Until tomorrow, though, stay safe out there, wash your hands, and if you're a mailbox, watch out, they're coming for you.